What's up guys and welcome back to another video where we are going to be going over a celebrity's car collection. Now the way this works is all you have to do is comment down below a celebrity you'd like us to talk about and we'll be covering the most recurring person in next week's video. This week however we are going to be talking about world famous singer songwriter Post Malone. <laughs> Now, Post Malone has kind of blown up in the music industry in the last few years and makes some really popular songs that I'm sure a lot of you all know. Now, his net worth is estimated to be around the 30 to 50 million dollar mark. That's what they say on the internet, but I mean, that is a big window. There's a big difference between 30 million and 50 million. Now, with all of that money, he's bought himself lots of jewelry, lots of watches. Um, he's even bought himself a set of diamond teeth, a bit random, and a lot of very cool cars. He's clearly got a real thing for classics as well, and we're going to start with those before we end up talking about his Lamborghini, but also his Bugatti. Now, old cars, he has got a 92 Ford Explorer, a Chevrolet C10, and a 1966 Lincoln Continental, but there is a video of him showing off some of his uh, slightly more classic cars. It's a badass little whip. I wanted to make the swag mobile. That's how everybody comes to my house and they see this car and they know that I live here and they come bother me. <laughs> Check this shit out. Boom. Got him. This is, you know, this is my everyday car. I, w I want a Ferrari next. She's a little dirty, but this is my 66 Lincoln Continental. Yeah! Awesome to see him not only going with the modern cars, but also going with some slightly more classic cars. Seems to like the, the wacky things that other people don't necessarily have which is why he's got that Hennessy Ford Velociraptor. Oh, hell yeah, boy. Hell yeah, boy. It's a zoo. It was The Rock, it was, wasn't it? It was The Rock who had one of these as well. I mean, when you're, yeah, we were making jokes about it because when your car is called Velociraptor, you've done pretty well. Hugely powerful six-wheeled massive pickup truck literally it should be painted as the american flag because it's the most american guy i've ever seen it is beyond massive i was lucky enough to actually see one in los angeles when i was there it is so big it's got a massive v8 in it and they're really really cool i think it suits post below quite well he's then also got a thing for rolls royce but he has been a little bit unlucky with his rolls royces so he had a white rolls royce wraith so that's the two-door coupe with that classic rolls royce v12 but unfortunately he was t-boned by a kia in Santa Monica in Los Angeles, California. And he was driving actually completely not his fault and was completely T-boned by another car. Now, he didn't seem to be too worried about this and thankfully nobody was injured, but still a scary moment and the car was pretty much written off. The car was also on some modified black rims, tinted windows. Now he wasn't actually driving himself, his assistant was driving at the moment of the accident, but still a pretty scary thing to, to live through. Clearly didn't push him away from Rolls Royces. He clearly felt safe in them afterwards because he's just picked up a brand new Rolls Royce Phantom 8. Check this video out. See, you got a brand new car after you got your shit yeah, I to, I fucking, you got fucking total my other one, so we went and so got we this just one. Went and got a brand new one. That's the awesome. bigger one, the funner one. That's, is it, oh, it's better? Yeah. Oh, Phantom 8 is the latest greatest from Rolls Royce, replacing the Phantom 7, as the name obviously indicates. And just lots of little discreet changes, even from the way it looks outside to the way they've developed the car. It's been completely modernized and is a huge step up and it is just the ultimate uh, in terms of luxury sedans that you can buy. And it's about half a million dollars. Another car which is around half a million dollars, which is in the Post Malone collection. White cars, first of all, seem to be a thing when it comes to his modern cars. White Wraith, white Phantom, now white Aventador SV. Roadster. Lamborghini Aventador SV Roadster limited to 600 pieces worldwide, 750 horsepower from his naturally aspirated V12. His has actually been put on some aftermarket wheels and clearly has an aftermarket exhaust. Listen to this. <laughs> 
nuts sounding exhaust. I don't know what this is. I'm sure, I'm sure Paul Wallace from Supercars of London, the exhaust expert, would be able to give us a little tip on what this exhaust is, but it looks awesome. I really like um, little details they put, like for example, on the SV logo on the side, they put barbed wire little details on it. The rims, which are redone, but in a class, they look like they could almost be stock. The exhaust obviously sounds insane and is just such an awesome car. Naturally aspirated V12 in a Lamborghini. Only thing is it's got that single clutch gearbox, which is pretty renowned for being shit. But apart from that, it's an absolutely brilliant car. We've left the best for last, coming in at around $3 million, the Bugatti Chiron. Only 500 of these will ever be made. There is the Chiron, the Chiron Sport, and a few other variants, and they're all pretty different, pretty particular. Now, he was pretty clear when he bought this car post Malone. You know, you want to make a statement, this is the ultimate car, 1500 horsepower. It's got a quad turbocharged, W16 engine. Absolute animal, world record holder for top speed. There's nothing more you have to say about a Bugatti. Now, quite a few people that we've mentioned in these videos have had Bugatti Chirons, but Post Malone has been much more open about his using it even in his music videos. There's actually a video of him doing his first test drive in his Bugatti as well, right before he bought the car. This is fucking crazy. This is, is not like anything. This is not like the McLaren. This is not like the no, Avenger. This no. is not like any of that shit. There's so much torque and power. Oh my fucking God. Oh my God. Pretty epic lineup then from Post Malone. Definitely for me, the highlight is the Bugatti Chiron. Uh, I also, really, the SV is beautiful. I mean, so is the Ro They're all, he's got very good taste. Lots of very, very cool cars in his collection. A very successful man who I'm sure will continue for many, many years being at the top of the charts with some great music. So awesome to see him enjoying himself with uh, his cars. And guys, remember, if you haven't already, why don't you put a comment down below, <laughs> down Malone, <laughs> down below, or the celebrity you'd like us to cover in next week's video. And we'll be taking the person who comes back the most often. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll be seeing you again next week for another video of this type. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.